Hi, my name is Jeffrey Gleason, and today I'll be presenting the work Forecasting Hierarchical Time Series with a Regularized Embedding Space. The focus of this work is on forecasting collections of time series with hierarchical and or grouped structure. The graphic on the left depicts a simple hierarchy to give you a working example. There are n total series, m of which are at the bottom level, and the constraints can be represented via a summing matrix where each series is expressed as a sum of its bottom level components. Our goal here is not only to produce accurate forecasts, but to produce forecasts that reconcile. Our approach builds off of the deep AR model by adding a regularization term that shapes a learned embedding space. This term penalizes the distance between parent series and their descendants at the bottom level of the hierarchy. Following deep AR, these embeddings are concatenated with other features prior to the recurrent component of the model. The motivation behind this term is the assumption that children are more similar to their parents than to other series in the hierarchy. There are two significant advantages to this approach. First, it permits concurrent optimization of both the forecasting and the reconciliation objectives. And second, it is more efficient than applying a similar term to the output space. And the paper compares two formulations for the distance constraint, the squared L2 norm and the cosine distance. Both terms penalize the sum of the distances between each parent and all of that parent's bottom level descendants. Moving on to the empirical results, we evaluated our approach on a data set of Australian tourism flows. Our first experiment demonstrated that our approach outperformed the state-of-the-art minimum trace reconciliation, and that by combining the two approaches, even better performance could be achieved. We also saw that our method induced a slightly higher training loss, which was evidence that it helped prevent overfitting on individual series. Our paper contains two more comparisons from two challenging forecasting settings, training sequences that are half as long and a forecast horizon that is twice as long. Feel free to reference the paper for more details. Finally, we probed the robustness of our approach by measuring its performance as we varied the embedding dimension. Both formulations, especially the cosine distance term, consistently led to better performance. In conclusion, we proposed a regularization term that improved forecasting performance in the context of hierarchical time series. We also demonstrate its effectiveness and robustness through a number of experiments. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to discussing it more.